to assist you with your purchase. The marketing agents you've met throughout the campaign, both Mark Lum and Ryan Zoo are here, and also we've got Elvis Quail uh, here to help you with your competition. So if you have any questions regarding the property, the paperwork, or some tactical advice with your bidding, they are here to help. Now, first I draw attention to is the contract sale, which has been made available to you prior to today's auction and on display for the last 30 minutes. Very straightforward auction contract, two parts of it, along with the auction rules form the framework of your competition here today. Particular sale, um, attached that is the Vandal Statement, which is more commonly known as a Section 32 document that outlines all the revenue information you need to know in terms of becoming the new owner of this property right here. Now, the particular sale registered follow on a marketing agent for owner here today is Ray White Real Estate, and the property we sell is commonly known to you and I, your neighbours, your postman, and your Uber East delivery driver. Simply as number two, Grosvenor Avenue here in Mulgrave. We sell on auction conditions today. Auction conditions today. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are the successful purchaser at the conclusion of today's auction, we're going to need two things from you. One is your autograph on the on the dotted line in the contract sale. Two is 10% equivalent to the purchase price as your deposit. We accept a personal check or online transfer. If you do choose the way of paying over the internet, then we need you to transfer no less than $20,000 to our trust account upon signing the contract here today. And you can use the weekend to transfer the whole amount. As long as we have the full amount by the end of business next Monday, we'll be fine. The contract you'll be signing is unconditional. There is no putting off period. Now, as your auctioneer, it's my duty and responsibility to ensure today's auction is conducted in accordance with the rules or any audition and conditions that's made available for inspection prior to today's auction. The rules previous bidder try to prevent others from bidding, false bidding, major disruptions by bidders, and there are fines for these conducts. Bidders will be indicated upon request by me as the auctioneer. The rules permit vendor bids, the, per the terms I will use to indicate I'm making a bid on behalf of the vendor will be simply vendor bid, and by law, only I, as the auctioneer here today, can make a vendor bid. Lastly, buyers, if you want to be the one assigning one of these in the next 15 to 20 minutes' time, please make sure you pay particular attention to the next two rules because they are crucial for your success here today. One, by law, as the auctioneer, I cannot accept any bids or offers that's made after a declared property sold. So before I knock it out to the successful purchaser here today, I simply called out three times, like so, first call, second call, third and final call, and once the property has been knocked down, I can't take any more bids. And lastly, our owner has a reserve price. In event, if we fall short of that reserve, by law, only the last bidder will have that first opportunity to buy this property at the owner's reserve. Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome again. Here at number two, Grubner Avenue in Mulgrave. What are you purchasing here today? It's a grand canvas. A plain canvas for you to do to make your imagination into reality. Three bedroom, one bathroom, no original home, still in very good condition. Whether you want to renovate it, extend it, of course, up to the council approval, bring it back to life, or simply knock it out, build your dream home, exactly like two of your neighbours have done, or subject to council approval as well, do your multi dueling developments. 667 square metres, the frontage is almost 17 metres bias, and everything, everything Central Mulgrave is known for is pretty much right here on your doorstep. The shops on Wonder Street, Waverley Gardens Shopping Centre just around the corner. We are in between M1 and M3. We are in between Springville and Waverley, two cosmopolitan centres in the southeast of Melbourne. But buyers, you know this already. This is the fourth time I'm saying this today. Today is the 16th of December, less than 10 days to Christmas. Which means if you walk away without a signed contract sale here today, you potentially drag your house hunting into 2024. The best Christmas gift that you can buy your family or the biggest item on your Christmas shopping list is right here. Cross it off. Enjoy the warm weather somewhere else. We are heading into summer. Oh, we are in summer. So 
So, instead of standing on the curbside, next year, enjoy this kind of weather somewhere else. On the beach, golf course, go watch Australian Open. You don't want to see me. So, who's going to buy there a year back, delete realestate.com from their phone? Today is the day to find out. I'm going to hand it over to you, ladies and gentlemen. Where do we see a fair, reasonable, even hand of beard? I'm in your hands, number two, Grovner Avenue here in Mulgrave. Where do we go? A 70, welcome to you, then a hundred and seventy thousand dollars lower end of the indicating selling range. Let's to go in twenty thousand dollar rise. I think that's only fair. A 70 is the call at a hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Call to 890 anywhere at a hundred and seventy thousand bits with you there. He's confident, he knows the value at a hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Who's gonna take me to a 90 at a 70 at a hundred and seventy thousand dollars bits with you there? Well, to welcome, of course, ladies and gentlemen, we are here to sell, you are here to buy. In order to do that, we need your active participation at $170,000. Go to A90 if I were you at A70. And that should be a sea of hands at this level, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, 667 square meters, 17 meters frontage. You can't get anything better than this in Mulgrave at $870,000. Be there now at A70 is the call at $870,000. Are we all done? All finished. All sighted here, $870,000 counting once here at $870,000. Twice now at $870,000. Are we all done? All finished. All silent at $870,000. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the lower end of the indicating selling range. Like I said, great value at this stage. At 870, you didn't come out here in this kind of weather just to see us. You are here to buy. You don't want it to look at realestate.com anymore after today. And you know what? If you are the buyer, get out this way, off Wonder Street, turn right, get on M1, you'll be in Tustin in 10 minutes. Do the proper Christmas shopping. That's it. At eight hundred and seventy thousand dollars, what's going to cost you? At eight seventy, is the call. Where do we go? Call eight ninety. At eight hundred and seventy thousand, are we all done? All finished. All silent. I go to the third and final opportunity. At eight hundred and seventy thousand. Now, ladies and gentlemen. I'll give you a moment to think about what you want to do next. 870, I'll take that offer to the owner. Six of the instructions, won't take too long.
Thank you for your patience, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, it's a very important decision for the owners to make. And also, I think I've given you sufficient time to think about what you want to do. So, 870,000 is your offer. We are getting there break by break. My instruction is I can take $10,000 rise. So, 870 is your bid. And whoever wants to jump in, 880 to welcome to you, sir. New bidder, all the best of luck with your bidding. And 880,000, you don't have the keys anymore, ma'am. And 880 is the call called 890, I'll take me straight to nine. And 880,000 dollars, that's your competition against you. And 880, what would you like to do? And 880,000 dollars, I'll take 10 of better bids. And 880,000 dollars, he's in the box lead, you're not anymore. And 880,000 dollars, what would you like to do? A 10 or better bid attempt to back him, ma'am. And I 80 with you there, sir. And I hundred and eighty thousand dollars called a ninety. What do you want to do? And I hundred and eighty thousand dollars. I'll start counting. First call. And I hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Second call! And I hundred and eighty thousand dollars. How are we all done? All finished. All signed. Ten. Ten. Too early for the fires. Quarter ten, sir. A ninety. Welcome back. At eight hundred and ninety thousand dollars, sir. What do you want to do now? At eight hundred and ninety thousand dollars. You don't have the keys now. At eight hundred and ninety. The bidding, uh, bidding against you here, $890,000. Oh, sure he didn't come here to place one bid, sir. $890,000. They've got the keys. A ninety is the bid now, $890,000. First call at $890,000. Second call at eight hundred and ninety thousand dollars. Oh, you heard him at eight hundred and ninety. He would pay for keep down eight hundred and ninety thousand, sir. You definitely have. I don't usually do this. I'll go in tiers. Usually fives and two and a half or ones. I'll straight up to you. One. If I can tempt you back in, the sake of a one thousand dollars. Even 6% interest. You do the calculation. How much that's worth for you? $890,000. First call at $890,000. Second call at $890,000. Definitely out. Thank you for being here today. $890,000. For the third and final opportunity at eight hundred and ninety thousand dollars, all done, all finished, all silent. Five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely out. Thank you, sir. Eight hundred and ninety thousand, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together for the new owner. We are sold. Congratulations. Well bought. Commiserations to the underbidders. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for attending another successful Ray Wycombe Wavy auction. Enjoy your weekend and Merry Christmas.